everybody and welcome to this video. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is how to theme your chat books and how to put them together once you've decided to do so. What is going on? We're doing this today because I'm looking a bit crazy. I'm going to cut my beard off today, I think. So on the last uh, members only Anarchy Crew live stream, one of the questions I had was from someone who said, I'm having a hard time focusing. And again, I'm like paraphrasing this question, but um, it's a question that I get asked kind of a lot, but in different ways each time because everyone's different and doing different shit. But the question is, like this person is in the middle of writing like three different chapbooks because they are writing, cert there are certain themes in their poetry right now. And so some of the themes are about this thing, some of them are more general, and then some of them are like about something else completely different. And um, they're trying to get enough stuff to put a book together. And so the question was, how do you like focus on what you're doing in order to finish a book? <clears throat> and so the way I do my chat books is, is that I don't think of, for the most part, like with the one night thing, or especially two night, that was planned. But other than that, my chat books aren't planned. I have a spreadsheet document in um, like Google Docs or spreadsheets or whatever, Google Sheets. And at the end of every month, I will go in there and type in all the poems I wrote that month. And then next to them, I'll put like what the theme of those poems are and go down. And so some of them are about shopping. Some of them are about dealing with COVID. Some of them um, are about going to liquor stores. Some of them are about looking out this window and what I see out here. Okay. And then every once in a while, when I'm deciding what chat book I'm going to do, I will like find in the theme area one of the words. So one of the words might be childhood. And so I'll type childhood into the word search thing, the keyword search, and see how many things pop up. And sometimes it'll be eight, sometimes it'll be as much as like 20 or 30, okay? So typically what I try to find is anywhere from 10, 10 or 12 to 20. Um, and then depending on how long the poems are, I could find out, like, if I could make a chapbook out of those topics. And then what I'll do once I get those poems is I'll look at them and see, okay, like, these are all about childhood, but is there, like, a, a deeper theme? Is there something that connects them more? So, for instance, like, there were a lot of poems when I was putting... Um, Mart together. And I, in my head, thinking, well, these are all going to be about me having to go wait in line somewhere or something like that, you know, like me having to like go into any type of store. And then I realized that most of these poems are about either shopping at Walmart or going to Walmart. So then I was like, oh, okay, so this is like even narrower and is just about Walmart. Um, <clears throat> With my, um, like, desert poems, like, there are a bunch of different kinds of desert poems I have. There's the ones from the uh, going to the post office in the desert. That was, like, my one lifeline to the outside world when I was living off-grid and stuff like that. So I have a chapbook, uh, P.O. Box 3054, that is just about things that happened to me at that post office. Death by Detura is about the desert trying to murder me, basically. But then the one coming out this month um, called Off the Grid is about my actual homestead and things that happened 
like I tried to make sure it wasn't things that happened inside the trailer, but like on the home set itself. Do you see what I'm saying? So once I find the theme, I try to narrow that theme down because a lot of times what you'll end up seeing if you do stuff like this, when you do the search, thinking you're going to find like eight to 12 poems, you're going to hit like 30 or 40 or 50. And then you're going to go, oh shit, like that's a lot. That's too much for a chat book. I got to figure out like that's 50 poems is usually enough for like a book book, you know? Um, but you got to like then look at it and go, okay, what can I whittle these down to? Like, okay, these 15 poems, even though it's about this one thing, I'm drunk in all of these poems. So maybe this could be drinking or something like that. Like you, you come up with different ways of doing it. So when you're putting, what, what I want to say to people is don't worry about the theme when you're writing, just write. Because how human nature is and how writing poetry is, especially confessional poetry, is that as you're writing, themes will emerge, okay? Because we're working through our shit. And so depending on how much you write about any given period of your life, a lot of those things are gonna fall together, okay? And that's how you theme your books. When you try to force themes, you'll notice that some of your poems are really good and some of them you just feel are like fucking like, what the fuck is this? Like what, you know, and you won't feel that strongly about them. But the worst thing to do is like force poems like, oh, I got to write one more poem about driving in a VW in order to make this fucking book work and then you write some junky ass poem about living in a VW or driving in a VW. It's just like, it's better to write a bunch and then afterwards go and look and figure out how to put all that stuff together. Okay. Keep on my books. Type hard everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.